Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, I decided to do the Swine God, just to get him out of the way, and we'll get Raider's Talisman out of it, which is not terrible. And here's our group, we got a Leper, a Houndmaster, an Arbalest, and a Vestal. I mostly brought the Leper for Intimidate, because that will reduce the damage the boss does, and this boss can do quite a lot. So that's that. And I gave Leper two items that will increase his accuracy. And we got our newest item, the Ancestor's Candle, on the Houndmaster, along with this mass's head. So that's plus 40% extra damage for him. That is pretty good, with 7 speed. Anyway, let's go. Provisions. We'll take a few shovels. I don't think we need too many. Obviously food and torches and medicinal herbs. I think that's good enough, maybe a skeleton key or two. I think this is fine, and maybe one holy water. Okay, looks good. Let's go! So, here we are. Looks like the boss is going to be right here on the opposite side. Okay, let's go then! And as usual, we'll camp as close to the boss as possible to take advantage of some buffs. We could definitely use a few. Alright, this room is clear. Let's keep moving. Already looted, apparently. This corridor is clear. Alright, no fights yet. But also no scouting. We dodged the trap. Still no fight. Dinner card. Right, that uses medicinal herbs. And we got 1000 gold out of it. Not bad. So, next room. Okay, we got a fight. Not a big one. Just some raiders. Alright. Let's see. They do have some protection. Let's maybe debuff their protection. The ground quakes. Wait, I used... No, that's... That was the wrong skill. Okay, doesn't matter. They only have 25 health. Debuff, minus 6 dodge. How quickly the tide turns. Okay, and the bleed. And now we are marked. I can actually remove the mark with flare. So that's a possibility. Right now, I just want to kill them. Heal up a little. Hey, we do have a bandage, so we can use that. One down. Two more to go. Let's just hit the hunter. He doesn't have any protection, so not much point using the mark. And he doesn't have that much health, only 25. Okay. Here comes another shot. Debuff. Yeah, that's a dodge debuff. Let's remove that bleed first. And... Chop. Sure. 16, not bad. And that's a kill, nice. That leaves us with the raider. Can we kill him before he attacks us again? Maybe. Yes, we can. Good job. And our loot. I like how our inventory is already full. More loot. Yep, we already need to get rid of something. Let's get rid of that bandage. So, onwards to the boss. We can actually do the boss already, unless there's a fight in the corridor. Which, I suppose, is a possibility. We'll camp right here in this room. I mean, it's the last one before the boss, so it's not like we have a big choice. Alright, so first of all, prevent Nightmare Ambush. That's probably the job for our Vestal. Can anyone else do it? 
Yes, actually. Well, it doesn't really make a difference. The cost is the same and we won't really benefit from either of these abilities. Okay. What else can we get? Extra accuracy, yes, that is definitely useful for a leper. What else? Any stat buffs? Yes. And it looks like that's it. Alright, let's do this. A blazing star is born. No more fights on the way. Let's just go and kill the boss then. More loot. This is going to be one of the quickest boss runs I've done, I think. As the light Looks that way. Who do we use holy water on? And purpose is made Maybe clear. Houndmaster. He will do the best damage with these two items and dog treats. So, here we are. As always, we will ignore Wilbur and focus on the boss. Yeah, our Vestal is stunned. Alright, I can actually remove the stun with running flare if I want to. There's no point right now. We are at full health. So, do we use target whistle or... Well, maybe. Here's the thing, I can do a lot of damage with the Houndmaster. I think I'd rather use the mark with the Arbalist. Okay, dog treats, the blood and we'll use Hound Rush. That's up to 26 damage without the mark. There, 21. Decent enough. Okay. Now we could remove the marks if we want to. Right, I need this debuff to land because this will decrease the damage the boss does. Nope, he resisted, damn it. Well, that's just unlucky. He only has 65% debuff resist. At least he didn't do a lot of damage. He can do like 30 damage quite easily. So now we can mark him. Yep, this will also reduce his dodge, hopefully. It did. Alright. Resisted, nice. Hound Rush again. 26 damage. Another mark. So far so good. Now we could guard our Hound Master if we want to. Which isn't a terrible idea actually. But then we won't be using Intimidate. Still, I wouldn't want this to get resisted again. Let's guard the Hound Master. Wait, no, we can't guard with the leper. What am I talking about? We can guard using the Houndmaster. Okay, let's try Intimidate again. It landed this time, nice. That's minus 29% damage. And heal up the Houndmaster. Now, I could guard someone with the Houndmaster and get plus 20 to dodge. It's probably not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Alright, nice. 50 critical, holy crap. Okay, I did not expect that much damage. Yep, 32 total damage, and that's with the damage debuff. This guy hits quite hard. We still got dog treats active. Up to 37 now. Decent, I'll take it. He's below half health now. Okay. Chop? I think so. 27, good enough. He has two more rounds of the mark. Let's do some good damage. Sniper shot, up to 34, non-critical. And we got 31% chance to crit, that's insane. No crit this time, but alright. I'm not even mad. Yep, 20 critical, that's with the damage debuff. It would have been enough for Death's Door without the damage debuff, I think. Dog treats again. Okay, nice. Almost maximum possible damage without a crit. We need... how much more? 47 more damage. A bit less because he has a bleed. One more round should do it. 
nobody's at death's door. Yet. 16. Let's get some healing done. Okay, come on, people. We'll still have to kill Wilbur after, but that's the easy part. He just tends to be a little bit annoying with his stance. Okay, one more hit. Is he going to bleed out? Yeah, he's going to bleed out. We might as well hit Wilbur then. Yep, because the boss is basically dead. Oh wait, what? He wants to take bleed damage. Seriously? Okay then. I guess that doesn't count as an actual proper turn. Whoops. Well, that could have ended poorly. Let's get our hand master off that door. Yeah, I was convinced he will take bleed damage before getting an action. But I suppose that attack doesn't actually count as an action. He gets it for free. Well, doesn't matter. We are basically done here. Just kill Wilbur before he spams too many stuns. Rip. And we are done. We got a blueprint and some trinkets. I guess we can always sell those. Yep. Done. Back to the hamlet we go. And we got Raider's Talisman. And almost 20,000 gold. Any diseases? Yes, we did get a disease. We got two diseases. Okay, but we got quick reflexes on the leper. I might even log that one. Yeah, that's easily one of the best positive quirks in the game, I would say. You the, terrible wonders I have come the fanatic will stalk parties with infected heroes. Yeah, okay, we don't have any infected heroes at the moment. So, let's log quick reflexes. How much will that cost us? 10,000. Okay. Can we make it any cheaper? Let's see. Well, I suppose so. Experimental techniques and tonics can overcome things. 9,450. All right. It's worth it. What's his speed right now? Six speed. Would be four without the quirk. All right, let's lock that one. And remove the diseases. Like so. All right, what's next? That was a pretty quick run. We can do a short dungeon, maybe. Oh, and let's check the stagecoach. I actually recruited a level 3 jester from the stagecoach right before I started this episode. An antiquarian? Yeah, sure. We need one more character level 3. Well, we don't even need that. We could do a run right now if we want to. With the crusader, for example. Let's have a look. A short level 3 dungeon. Yeah, let's do that one. For some gold. Alright, works for me. What's your disease? Oh, that one doesn't really matter. Alright, let's do this. This is going to be a bit of a weird setup. Yeah, actually, this is going to be a very weird setup. Whatever works. Yeah, this looks mostly fine to me. I suppose we could bring the highwayman instead. We could just get these people to level 5. Okay, fine, let's do that then. Here, that's going to be the group. And we might need some better skills on the Arbalist. The dodge buff is pretty decent, apparently, and the scale as well. So let's grab that one. That's plus 9 dodge, that's not too bad. We can also force guard by an ally. Okay. It's pretty cheap, I guess. We can upgrade that a bit. Debuff. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much on antiquarian skills. They aren't exactly good. 
Okay, this will do. It's fine. All right, trinkets. Let's have a look. Unequip everything. And what do we want on Ho? Well, Ancestor's Candle should go to our best damage dealer. So either the Crusader or the Highwayman. The Highwayman could grab the Ancestor's Pistol, but he will be using melee attacks too. Let's give him the Candle. And the Crusader can grab Brawler's Gloves. Like so. And what else? This Massa's Head. Yeah, we can use that on someone. Here you go. And what else for the Crusader? We could give him the Sun Ring. That always works. Alright, Antiquarian. I did have some Antiquarian only item or two. Yeah, this one. That's some extra protection. And what else? I suppose we could give her Ancestor's map. And finally the Vestal. Same as usual, Ancestor's scroll and Junia's head should be fine. It's not a level 5 dungeon. Looks good, let's go. So, for the wield, what do we want? Obviously food. A shovel or two. Torches. At least one skeleton key, I would say. And what else? Holy water or two. Bandage or two. And I think that's fine. Maybe anti-venom or two. Looks good to me. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's a completely linear dungeon. Alright. And our objective is to complete 100% of room battles. So, let's get started. This uses anti-venom. And that's a pretty nice hole right there. Any fights in here? No. We got a fight right here in the room. And a chest. So, a madman, enchantress and two grabbers. We should probably kill the madman first. So let's do that. Try to stun him perhaps? Oh no, we can't stun him, but we could stun the enchantress. There, it worked. The promise of safety. The madman will attack us, but oh well. I suppose that's fine. Resisted the debuff. The birthplace of yeah, we should have used the dodge buff, I suppose. We can do that next time. A stun? Yeah, that should land. There, and we even got a crit with the stun attack. Whole 5 damage. Accusation. That's stress debuff, alright. Are you dead yet? No, we missed, really? Come on now. All right, fine. Let's just get the dodge buff. It's not too bad. Probably one of the better skills Antiquarian has, actually. Judgment? Not quite good enough. We need four more damage. If only that pistol shot didn't miss. Just a suggestion, you know. All right. These guys have 50% protection. And I actually can't debuff protection with this group. So they might be a little bit annoying to deal with. Especially when we have an antiquarian who's not exactly the master of damage dealing. That's an understatement. Well, a lot of misses so far on both sides. Another dodge buff that should be plus 18. Yeah, that's a pretty nice skill. Yeah, only 6. That 50% protection, it's annoying. Come on, people, let's do some better damage here. Wicked slice. There, one down. 
them no quarter. So can we kill the Enchantress next? That would be great. We only need 10 more damage on her. That can't be that hard, can it? What's her blight resist? 40%. Well, it's always a little bit of damage. There, it landed. Now we just need pistol shot to not miss. That's it, that's all we need. Or festering vapors might kill her. Yeah, 6 damage, we are 1 damage off. Well, she will die on the next turn. I guess that's acceptable. Now, the fungal grabber. Maybe get some healing done. Might as well. Two more damage, really? Yes, really. Rip. Are we done yet? We are done. Give me the load, thanks. With the antiquarian. Push on to the task's end. Anything good? Well, not amazing, but 500 gold. Let's move on. That's going to be anti-venom. Yep. Nice one. And more. Okay, this should be pretty good for gold. I might try to do some level 5 dungeons with an antiquarian, but... We'll need two really strong damage dealers to make that work. We'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. We got an obstacle. And a fight in the next room. Victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Nice. 1250 again. In we go. The path is clear. Okay, a giant, a crone, and fungal battery. So what should be first? First of all, let's buff our dodge. The giant can do quite a lot of damage. And we could try to stun the battery, we could do some damage to the crone. We only got 66% chance to hit her. But that's mostly because she has almost 30 dodge. Let's try to hit her. Yep, it worked. We only need 10 more damage. So, 71%. There, she's dead. Nice. Next, we could try to stun the giant. We got 50% chance to stun it. There, it worked. Nice. Looking good so far. What's that debuff? Minus 7 dodge. Okay. So, let's start doing damage. We could buff ourselves a little bit. Probably not worth it. We already got 90% chance to hit the giant. More dodge, thanks. Okay, plus 18 dodge. That's what I like. Let's try to stun the fungal battery, or not. We missed. Let's see if that dodge buff is going to help here. Yup, it will. That was his high damage attack, too. Alright, now we need 60 damage. He doesn't have any protection, so that's not exactly hard to do. And nervous stab. Now let's just keep up the dodge buff. That's plus 27 now. <laughs> that's pretty damn good. If we just spam it. Well, he didn't miss this time around. He should be dead before he gets a chance to do anything else. Yep, he's down. And fungal battery. Resisted. Okay then. Group heal. Come on, we just need two more hits. Or one really good hit. Can't hit it with the Crusader. Not enough. Come on, people, you don't want that blight to stack too much, do you? 
Especially since we don't have any more anti-venom. Please land the blight. There we go. Okay, that's enough. We might as well heal some of our stress. Since the fungal battery will die. Heal that up. And that's it. Maintain the offensive. And we got some load. Remind Do we want to grab that trinket? Slow and insidious killer. Well, I don't really want to destroy the bandages, so... No. Let's move on. We got a fight in the corridor. And obviously we can't skip it. In radiance, may we that looks victory. easy. Let's get rid of the ectoplasms first, because we don't want them to merge into a bigger one. We can try to land Blight on the crown. There, it worked. Okay. Get some healing done. It's down, so just the crown now. One decent hit will do it, honestly. Come on. Oh, twice in a row, really? Alright. But we dodged. She's already dead. Easy enough. More antiques. And even more, nice. No more anti-venom, let's try to use it anyway. Yeah, that was totally worth it. We'd get more with anti-venom, but I don't have any, so whatever. Nothing here. We definitely got at least one more room fight, yep, right here. Because that's literally the quest objective. A crown again, a dog, and bone conscript, alright? So let's buff our dodge. And try to hit something? Nope, she dodged. Dodge this. We need five more damage. Let's stun the dog. Because it can bleed us. While the conscript cannot. Resisted the debuff, nice. We just need five damage on the crone. Okay, nice dodging. Come on, land the blight. There we go, she's basically dead now. Alright then. Kill the doggy first, if we can. Really? Two misses in a row? Come on, people. It does have 24 dodge. Oh yeah, now we kill it. After it hit us. Hey, better late than never. So, the crown. Right, she will die from the blight. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Just kill it. Get some healing done. Nice. Two critical heals. And done. So, at least one more fight to do. 50 gold. Okay. We can use the food. Okay. Good enough. More loot. Oh, nice. Tapestry. What do we destroy? Probably bandages. I don't know. Well, we should destroy something. I suppose we could destroy the trinket. Let's destroy the bandages. And 50 gold. Okay, that will do. This might be the last fight in here. Let's go and find out. Towering ectoplasm, alright. We surprised them, so that's good. Let's kill the ectoplasm first, in that case. 33% protection. Unfortunately, I can't debuff that. Dodge. Wicked Slice will be best here. 
We might as well use that holy water. Yep. This is either the last fight or one of the last fights. Can't be that many more left. We only got two more rooms left. And using the holy water will give us some inventory space. Okay. Resisted, nice. What should we do here? Yeah, more dodge. Can't go wrong with more dodge. Confluence of skill and purpose. Can we kill it yet? Thanks. We just need 11 damage. Really? 9 damage? Come on, bro. That's better. So, the batteries now. Yeah, that blight is fairly annoying. Especially since I can't clear it. Nice. Not quite enough to kill it, but hey, it's a crit. I'll take it. There, one down. We need some healing. That's 12 more damage from the Blight, unfortunately. Unless we get yet another blight stack, which we will. Alright. I guess that happens. We might be done after this fight, though. Are we done? Come on. Let's get some more healing done. Come on, one more hit. We need one damage. There. Is it over? Or do we have at least one more room to clear? This expedition it's not over. Okay. Success. Let's move on then. It will be in the very last room. Alright, fine. Doesn't really make a big difference for me. We don't need food, but alright, thanks. Was there a trap? Yes, there was, in fact, a trap. Right here. One last fight. Unless there's something in the corridor, there actually is. Well, okay. This was supposed to be a short dungeon, though. Short dungeons can actually be pretty annoying, because you can't camp in them. They can sometimes be harder than medium dungeons, I'm just saying. Dodge. Especially level 5, this is just level 3, so I'm not too worried. But level 5 short dungeons can be tricky sometimes. There, one down. Nice, we dodged. Really? Well, group heal, I suppose. It's down. We got some loot. Okay, we need to destroy something. Let's destroy the torches. Because this is definitely the last room. There are no more rooms in this dungeon, so it has to be. Okay, more loot. Very nice. This has been a great run. For a short dungeon, this is a lot of money. Even with an antiquarian. We got four rare antiques from a short level 3 dungeon. That's pretty good. And 11 minor one. Alright, so dodge. What should we kill first? Well... We could buff ourselves. And try to use judgment on the crown. There we go, 17 critical. We actually killed her! <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. Oh, rabies. Really? From the last room? Okay, not that it really matters on an antiquarian. It doesn't. We could probably just ignore rabies on antiquarian. 
Oh, come on! Rabies on our Vestal, too. Not that it really matters on the Vestal either, but two diseases in one turn from the last room. That's just bad luck. And we're done. More loot? Yep. Okay, then. Back to the hamlet. How much gold was that? 4500 from the quest itself. 26,000 collected treasure. Holy crap. So we got 30,000 gold from a short level 3 dungeon. Nice. I need to do more antiquarian runs. Creeping cough. Minus 20% damage. Well, I guess we should get rid of that one. Curiosity. Let's see if Interest we got anyone and obsession. at the stagecoach. Anyone My level 3. No, apparently not. Alright, it will have to wait. But we still got a level 4 antiquarian. I don't think I would want to do a run with a jester, two antiquarians and a vestal. No, probably not. I'm just saying. Let's remove the diseases. Might as well. Wait, what is this supposed to be? That was weird. Yeah, but let's just remove it. Minus 10 accuracy will make it harder to land judgments. And that's that. We got 68,000 gold. Nice. Can we build anything for blueprints? Let's have a look. Yeah, cartographer's camp. Torchlight is more beneficial. I guess we should. I'm not sure what exactly this means. More beneficial in what way? It's a little bit vague. Idle stress relief in town increased by 10 per week, okay. And the training ring. Arbalest Houndmaster and Men at Arms. Plus 4 accuracy, plus 10% maximum health. Outsider's Bonfire. Two additional points if you have at least one Abomination Hellion or Leper in your party. Okay, we got options. But we need to decide what we want first. Huh. It's a tough call, actually. Plus 4 accuracy and plus 10% maximum health for Men at Arms, Houndmaster, and Arbalest. That is pretty decent. And we got two Houndmasters, right? Yes, we got two Houndmasters, we got an Arbalest, and we got a Men at Arms as well. And I use Houndmasters very frequently because it's a very good class. I'll think about it. In any case, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.